happiest boy in the world. I'm going to get up. I think that's funny. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about the concept of triadic leadership and um, taking into account what it means to be a boss parent, I guess. We've been, Absolutely. We've been talking to um, a couple of our friends and you know they say, well, what is it that you're doing? What is this boss parents thing? And for us, it is just capturing our journey, sharing what we know. Obviously, Ashley and I both come from the C-suite of our companies, but that's not it. We just have you know knowledge and experiences that we're here to share and to capture our journey as parents with Carter as he grows up. So one of the topics we got into conversation about at one point was the concept of triadic leadership and what that means. And I know my husband here is a natural when it comes to being a triadic leader. And in my opinion, and what I know is that he's so good at connecting people that it just comes so naturally. You know, a lot of people that doesn't come naturally. It's like, you know resources, you have people, but you never reach out to them. Whereas actually you say one thing that you want in your life and you have a vision for your life and he'll actually have it happen probably by tomorrow because he'll connect to two yeah. people. So the concept of a triadic leadership is being the space for two people to powerfully connect and uh, create the vision or create the life that they've wanted. Exactly. So, right? what, yeah. so triadic leadership again is what? I would say creating the space power for two people to powerfully connect to achieve what they want to achieve in life. You got that? So for example, um, you know one person and they're your friend, they call you and say, hey, I need help with X, Y, Z. But then you have another friend, they don't know each other, but the other friend has X, Y, Z. You have to make that phone call and connect the two. Say, hey friend, friend A, friend B <laughs> has a service or needs your service, can you help them? And then yeah. there you go, you connect them. So most people call it networking, but being a triadic leader is essentially um, a little deeper than networking. It, and networking is, is a little, uh, I say general, it's kind of bland. It's like you don't know someone, you get their number, you may call them, you may not, you went to a networking event. You had them on LinkedIn, you know, exactly. now you're friends. Now you're <laughs> friends, or follow each other. Yeah. But uh, being a triadic leader is a person, is, is what we like to call ourselves triadic leaders because we will pick up the phone and make the phone call to connect people who they essentially need one another. One person needs the service, the other needs someone to solicit that service. So for the benefit of life, you guys, in the community, you know, it's like we hear people have a vision of something they want to accomplish and we know that we have the resources or the person that can make that difference for them. For the sake of our children and the future and all of that stuff, it's like we don't hold back. It's like we get to play a role in their success. Absolutely. And so, uh, so in having this vlog, Boss Parents, uh, for us, uh, it, is, it essentially wanted to be a platform to connect people, whether you're a, a real parent or a, uh, a surrogate parent or even just a, a mentor, mentor yeah. to someone. Uh, it, it should be your goal to make that next generation better than you. So as a triadic leader, um, I feel like um, the reason I want to connect people is because I want to make sure that people have the resources they need and uh, to and so I can make my positive contribution to their business or to their, their goal or even if they're doing a research project. I like to connect people to ensure that everybody is um, getting what they need and, and you know we're having fun and it's, it always just I always feel good connecting people. And on top of that, boss parents, yes, we gave that name to our to our vlog and you guys know that <laughs> um, but we feel that that is like a concept for humanity a bit like you can be a boss parent like you're saying in any of those roles that Ashley said being a yep. mentor being a surrogate being an auntie being an uncle whatever it may be you have people that turn to you as a mentor someone of influence mm -hmm. then you're a boss parent essentially Absolutely. you know you're a boss for sure um, so making that difference for people is really important so we consider boss parents a concept kind of in this community and this humanity that everybody can be a boss parent and it's up to you 
to uh, make that happen. But we're just sharing, obviously, our journey, what we feel is important that'll make a difference for Carter and then Carter's kids and, you know, what comes next. Because we are all about people winning in life and really, I don't know, achieving what they're set out to achieve. Absolutely. And so one of the takeaways that we want to share with you, or uh, I guess you already probably know it, but you just don't do it. Number one, go to networking events. Network, whether it be for business, for your current job, or for yourself as an entrepreneur. Go out and do some networking. That means get some business cards, start your website, do, do all these different things. Number two, when you network or even when you don't network, uh, always be open to, to new ideas. So if someone is offering a service to you as a parent, as a person, uh, a service that you've never heard of, like, I don't know, food delivery or something that you're not used to, something that's unconventional to the way you currently operate, give it a try. Try that new thing. What's the third one, Lindsay? Um, be willing to you know, talk about what you're good at, I think, Absolutely. and knowing and really honing in on your own skill sets and things yes. that you know that can make a difference for people. Sorry about that. Um, I yeah. don't know, a lot of us are really shy in sharing, you know, what we're really good at or things that we know we're good at, but we don't open our mouths to share that. And so we kind of just go with status quo and until somebody asks you, hey, do you know how to do this? It's like, I do know how to do that. Like everybody's brilliant. Everybody has a skill set to share and just naturally when it comes to them naturally. Yeah. So I know Ashley's like a natural triadic leader. Yeah. And <laughs> inspire, you know, he's an inspiration to many people and you know, I hope that I'm not too, but it's like really honing on what you're what you're really good at and sharing it with the world and not being shy about it. Yeah, and it may be the most unique thing like I don't know, modeling your hair or something. <laughs> she was a hair model. Who knew? It's like for me, for example, as a triadic leader, yeah. I'm good at connecting people. But when I was unemployed back in uh, 2011 or 2009, actually, I actually uh, was approached to be a hair model. I was like, well, I don't have Shocking. a job. I need money. <laughs> this triadic person, essentially, they want to connect me to a job modeling my hair. So guess what I did? I made the phone call, said yes, and I ended up doing a commercial. So be a yes to life, whatever Absolutely. that may be. <laughs> you know, hair model. He's right, great right. at so, it, obviously. Yeah, so let's show you a clip. <laughs> you know, hair model. He's right, great right, at so, it. Yeah. You know, for me, in 2008, when I chose to leave my job, I knew I had a skill set of helping people with their businesses and web design actually financial consulting so I was able to help some really close friends of mine with their companies in financial consulting bookkeeping um, advising in that sense and that's something that I pursued because I knew it was naturally something I was good at and I was able to do so hair model or financial consulting yeah which one yeah so like yeah like use what I would you have got. chosen hair model yeah. I just don't know if I got it right but I was a brunette two years ago right so so again you're using what you uh, you, have. you have to get what you got yeah you get what you want yeah and so a try a try to leader listens out listens out for those skill sets of different people that they know and they make the connection when the time makes sense so um, you know and being a triadic leader, again, we try to connect people the best way that we can. Uh, we to connect skill sets, connect needs to wants. And um, in doing so, sometimes when, when, when you need that for yourself, you can just pick up the phone and make a phone call and have what you need. So be open to that. Be open to networking, meeting people, learn your skill set. You know the other thing I've always learned? Sorry what you to learn? you no, no, what you learn? People in your life see more about you that you're good at than you actually allow yourself to see for you for yourself. Does that make sense? So people look at you like, man, you're really good at this, and you're like, oh, but you don't give yourself the credit you deserve because we're shy or we're in, what's the word? Um, you don't want to be so proud of it. Yeah, you don't want to have pride. Pride in that, you do, you know, but if other people see that, it, sometimes you got to trust those people around you to see your greatness. Absolutely. You're really good at that. Ashley sees things for people before they see them for themselves all the time. But um, I don't know. I feel like that's something we're good at that's for a lot of important. people, yeah. too. Yeah, super important. I know that's a little diversion from what we were, where we were that's going. That's good. But. So here's Carter. Carter. We had Carter in the video months. today. He's three and a half months. He's hanging out. Carter. <laughs> Carter's all up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at beautiful oh, sunny San Diego behind us. There we are. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That one tall palm tree. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So here we are. All right. But so again, we just want to share. We did. We want to share. We thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we want you to subscribe, subscribe below. Subscribe over there, over here. Somewhere below. <laughs> one of those. Share this with people. You think it would make a difference? And, and um, again, we're capturing our journey. Yeah. So Talking about things we like time. to talk about. Yeah. All right. Peace. Peace. Bye.